The Venue Go has a 15.6 inch monitor. The Venue Go's battery has up to two hours of scanning time. And here you can see two battery indicators that clearly display the remaining scan time, a battery icon and a customizable LED bar. The Venue Go was engineered with a seamless flat display for easy cleaning. To allow cleaning of the touch panel display without affecting the system operation, tap settings, then tap clean. Swipe to exit. For a complete list of approved cleaners and disinfectants, visit gehealthcare.com. For portability and ease of use, the Venugo cart can be moved up and down. The monitor can be tilted and swiveled side to side. Probes are located at the top of the system, so the cables never touch the ground, even when the system is at its lowest height. This keeps the probes and the cords secure and clean. VenueGo comes with a power cord management solution for easy storage. The VenueGo cart has a brake on each wheel. To activate the brake, press down on the front gray lever. To release, press the top gray lever. The VenueGo comes with a storage bin for your supplies. Additional optional accessories include an ECG module, a black and white printer, and a barcode reader. Both the VenueGo and the VenueGo cart are customizable. You can place the gel cups on the cart and the probe inserts on the system where it's convenient for you. To remove the VenueGo from the cart, lower the cart. Unplug the power cord from the back Pull the release mechanism. Pull one side of the monitor, then the other, until the venue goes released. It can then be placed on a flat surface using the kickstand in the back. When transporting your system, always turn off the circuit breaker to save the life of the battery. The venue go can also be placed in a cradle on a boom in the trauma bay or in a procedure room. The Venue Go has three probe ports on the back of the system. To connect a transducer, insert the probe into the port, then lift the lever to lock it into place. To remove the probe, lower the lever, then pull it straight out. To power on the system, simply tap and hold the power button. To shut down or place the system in standby, press the power button. If standby is chosen, the system will reboot in 6 seconds. When shutdown is selected, the system will reboot in about 40 seconds. If the power button did not respond when attempting to shut down, tap settings and tap off. This option is configurable.